you to Newton Baby for sponsoring today's video. I am currently transitioning Carmelo from his bassinet to his big boy bed, and if you're a mom, you know that this can be a stressful transition, but Newton Baby helps to ease my mind because I know he's sleeping safely. Newton Baby mattresses are 100% breathable, which reduce the risk of suffocation and keep your baby from overheating, which eliminates sweaty backs, and because they're breathable, it also stops the accumulation of moisture, which inhibits mold growth. I honestly wish I would have had these mattresses with my last two babies. They are amazing. The fact that I know that I can just go to sleep and get a good night's rest knowing that he's going to be okay in his bed is just a level of comfort that's unmatched because I know even when my kids were sleeping through the night in the beginning, I still would always get up in the middle of the night to check on them just to make sure they're okay. So again, the fact that it's breathable, it just puts my mind at ease. I also love that they nailed the aesthetic. These mattresses are so cute. They come in four different colors, white, blue, pink, and gray. It's also super comfortable because it has the perfect combination of like cushy and firmness and it has an optimal level of air circulation which helps your baby sleep longer. It can be washed if accidents occur and it can be recycled when you're done with it. You can try 100 nights of sleep on Newton Baby and if you're not happy, Newton offers free returns so you have nothing to lose. Click the link in my description box and use code McKenna50 at checkout to get $50 off your Newton Crib mattress plus free shipping. Thank you again to Newton Baby for sponsoring today's video. Now, Mello does not get a bath every single night just because with a four month old or a young baby it's just not necessary. He also has really sensitive skin and water can tend to dry it out so we do this about three four times a week but on nights where he doesn't get a bath I will just wipe him down with a wipe or a washcloth and then follow up by moisturizing his skin. For his bubbles, I like to do these little lavender bubble pods. Um, they just kind of dissolve and break up into the water and create bubbles, but they're safe for sensitive skin, which is why I like these. And then I also just like to keep a couple of toys in the bath for him as well. just start off by letting him kind of soak in the water and then I'll get started on his hair. Something that's really common amongst a lot of newborns and babies is cradle cap and Amelo has had a little bit of that so I like to just wash his hair and his body with the same thing. This is a cleansing oil so this works best for him because he has really sensitive skin and because it's a cleansing oil it doesn't dry his skin out but it still gets him clean so I'll just wipe him up with a washcloth and get in all the cracks and crevices and then once he's done I will just take him over to his room and we'll go ahead and get dressed. And what I put on before I put his diaper on is this healing ointment. Just because baby's longest stretch is when they're sleeping through the night and you're not changing their diaper, it's a good thing to just use to prevent diaper rash. So I always make sure that I do that before bedtime. And then I'm just going to go ahead and moisturize his body. Again, I use the brand, I believe it's Moose. Mustella is either Mustella or Mustella, but that's the products that I use for him as far as body wash, lotion, all that good stuff, um, just because it's really sensitive and gentle to the skin. And then I like to give him little baby massages at nighttime because it just kind of helps relax him and you have little pressure points in your feet also that can help relieve any like digestive problems so like gas and colic and stuff like that. And then I like to moisturize his hair and the rest of his body with coconut oil so I kind of like slug, I know that's the term we're using right now, like his skin because it is so dry so I'll do lotion and then oil and then in really really dry areas I will seal it in with aquaphor so especially on his face that's like the only thing that I use it just locks in the moisture and then I'll also apply it anywhere else that he is having a little bit of dry skin
And then as far as clothes, baby is supposed to sleep in basically one more layer than you would sleep in to help regulate their body temperature. So I am going to put him in a sleep sack in just a minute after we eat and burp, but I like to use just this regular short sleeve onesie as the base. This room is not complete if it looks a little bit bare we did just move um, but one thing that i absolutely love in here is this rocking chair it's by the kiko brand i believe but it's like a rocker and recliner and it has a little part where you can charge your phone and all this kind of stuff so i'll definitely link it for you guys um i love to rock him it's just like one of those really you know intimate bonding experiences and then I also like to read him books. He like gets super engaged in the books when he does stay awake. This night he happened to be just like already dozing off when I was feeding him. And like I said, every night he doesn't just automatically fall asleep and go to bed when he eats his bottle. It's not always that easy. Sometimes I have to spend some time kind of just winding down with him. Um, but tonight <laughs> he was knocked out. So I'm just going to let him finish his bottle and then burp him. I want to make sure that I get all that air out of his you know, belly, you don't want to put your baby to sleep without either burping them or relieving them of whatever air they have in there because that can cause them to wake up in the night. And obviously the goal for the nighttime is to be sleeping through the night. He is not sleeping all the way through the night yet, but we're working our way there. One thing that I have found that helps with that is this Magic Merlin sleep suit. Uh, this is my first time using it. I didn't use it with my previous boys, but I noticed a lot with Mello, he'll wake himself up by like startling himself or just reflexes through the night. This kind of just keeps their little arms and legs still for the most part so they're not waking themselves up out of their sleep and I do like to put him in his crib when he's like drowsy but not all the way asleep because it's just easier to transition him that way so I'll just kind of like pat his belly gently if he starts to wiggle around or wake up to kind of just help him go back to sleep and then like I said the noise machine is already on so he's already got that white noise going in the background which really helps him stay asleep through the night. He's getting about five hour stretches right now so we're kind of you know working our way up to a full night's sleep with him. And then before I leave the room, I'm just going to go ahead and turn on the fan to make sure that there is, you know, good, cool air circulating in his room. And then I'm going to go ahead and make dinner. So sometimes Mellows are still awake when I'm cooking dinner. It just depends on what the day looks like. My older boys were going to football this night as well, so I wanted to make sure that dinner was ready for them when they got home. So I'm just going ahead and cook this HelloFresh meal. It was like beef tenderloin with mashed potatoes and broccoli. So here is getting into the really realistic part of my routine. People ask me all the time, how do you have time to take care of yourself and have babies and do all your self care and, and all of that. And I'm gonna have me a coffee, okay? Whether that's while I'm cooking dinner, before I'm cooking dinner, or while I'm in the bath, it just brings me back to life, which allows me to get done all the self care things that are important for myself. Um, like a bath. Okay, every single night I'm gonna take a bath. This is something that's actually realistic for me There's not a night that I skip a bath. I don't care what time it is This is just one thing that is a non-negotiable for me because it's how I unwind and relax and take care of myself mentally <laughs> 
<laughs> which might sound dramatic, but all moms know you need that one time of the day where you can literally just, <sighs> depending on how much time I have or how much energy I have, will depend on how extensive my nighttime routine is. But typically every night after I get out of the shower, it's either going to be an oil or some type of hyaluronic acid just to moisturize my body really quickly. And then I'm going to go through my skincare steps. So at least hitting the basics, face wash, serums, whatever I need to do for my nighttime skincare routine. So the things I take at night is my evening primrose oil, my chlorophyll, and my probiotics. Evening primrose oil is really, really great for regulating your hormones, and I would highly, highly recommend postpartum, especially if you've already started back getting your cycles, which I have. It just kind of helps with breakouts, PMS, and all of that stuff. So I take my vitamins, and then I just finish up with brushing my teeth. <music> Also like to oil my scalp every night because you girls had postpartum shedding if you watched my last vlog. Rosemary oil really helps with that so I try to be consistent and use that every single night. <music> Lastly, we got to get this kitchen clean. Every night, I honestly, I'm being honest y'all, I don't get the kitchen clean, but I know that when I do do it, I feel so much better when I wake up in the morning. I literally hate waking up to a mess, so I'm just going to go ahead and push through, and something that really helps me with that is just setting the vibe. I like to turn the low lights on in the house when I'm cleaning, and just, you know, make it a vibe, okay? I poured myself a glass of wine this night, which I'm not a huge drinker, <laughs> but I have all these wines from sellers that I just don't drink that often, so I figured, why not? <music> And then I'm just going to finish off the night by cleaning up the kitchen really quickly. The goal here is just to get all the dishes into the dishwasher and make sure that the countertops and the floors are clean and then I can go ahead and head up to bed. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you in another one.